As noted in the prior segment, when you want to arrange a new workspace setup in Encore CS4 to make sure it's streamlined for your workflow, the process of moving panels around, grouping them together, and resizing panel groups work in exactly the same way as the process in Premiere Pro or After Effects. The same is true of handling workspaces. If we have a workspace that we've created and we want to save that for further recall, we can go to the Window menu and choose Workspace, New Workspace, and this will give us an opportunity to name and save our custom workspace. I'm going to go ahead and hit Cancel because I've already done that in this case. And we can see the name of my custom workspace right here at the top of the list. Now there are several different predefined workspaces that ship with Encore. I'll go ahead and open the default workspace. And for the most part, the default workspace can be a useful thing to work in in a variety of different workflows. And many times if you have a quick project, you can just set it to default, keep it there, and things will work just fine for you. If you're going to be doing a lot of work on a detailed menu, you can use the menu design workspace. And this spreads things out so that you can see the most important panels that are related to working on a menu. We also have similar opportunities for navigation design, creating slideshows, which we'll talk about a little bit later, and editing the timeline. For right now, we'll jump back to the default. And that's basically all you need to know about handling workspaces in Encore CS4. It's a very straightforward process, and as long as you know what's there, you're gonna find what you need very quickly.